Hi everyone, I'm just making a quick video about using Inktense pencils with alcohol-based blenders. Uh, I saw a video where someone was coloring with Inktense pencils and they, instead of using water to dissolve it, they used alcohol-based blender, right? And I tried this in my Mythomorphia book because I thought that's a great idea. If you can use an alcohol instead of water, then you don't have to worry about damaging the paper, right? So I thought that's great. But I just tried it now with my ink tents. So this is the same color as that, the same pencil I used. Now that you can see the difference clearly, but I think you can. The This is with alcohol-based blender. I used Zestit on this one. It's a very good blender. I used a you know, Q-tip. And I tried blending it with that, and it didn't do a very good job. Didn't blend very much, didn't blend very well. So then I used the same pencil and marked up here and used water to blend it, and it, and it, it brightened right up and, and filled out nicely. So I'm thinking that I'm going to try again and see if this is a complete fail for me or not. I don't know. Some people seem to like it. Works for them, but I'm finding it doesn't look like it works. So I'm going to try it again live here in this video. I'm using the hot red Inktense pencil, and I will do another quick demo here to show you the difference with dissolving it with water versus alcohol. So I'm just putting a quick layer here. And then I'll do another layer here for the water Based. So that one will be out will be alcohol and this one will be water. So you can see I'm using the same pencil. Let's put a quick layer on here. Intense goes on. It goes on pretty dull looking, but it brightens right up with water. Okay, so this time uh, instead of using the zest it, I'll try a a um blender pen that I got from Derwent, Derwent blender pen, alcohol-based blender, and I will try that and see if that makes a difference. Because this will rub it a bit more than the Q-tip the with um, the Zestit. Now, Zestit works really well with color pencil. And, you know, the alcohol here is blending it a little bit. It's, I mean, it's dissolving it a little bit, but the color is remaining very dark, which is okay. I mean, you can work with that. I mean, you might like that better. When the ink tense goes on originally, it's kind of a chalky kind of feel to it. So this is how it looks, the hot red with the alcohol based blender there. So that's that look. Now, the same pencil again over here. I'm going to use my water brush, my Caran water brush here, and now I'm going to use water. And you can see, I see I'll right away how much lighter and smoother. It looks, it blends right out beautifully with water. Nice, vibrant, very vibrant hot red color because this is hot red. So you can see that how clear that is. So while you can use alcohol based, it's not as smooth. You can see lines, it's kind of uneven, it's kind of bumpy looking. That one doesn't look good. I don't like that at all, that top one. <laughs> uh, this one's a little better with the blender brush because I pushed it around a little bit, but it's still very dark, kind of blah looking. 
Whereas down here, these what I did with water, the water brush, how much lighter and prettier and brighter it is, much more vibrant, more, much more intense, intense. So bottom line is I don't think alcohol-based blenders are good for ink tents pencils in my opinion um, you can use them but it just doesn't come out as well it's not as smooth and bright and I, I just don't think it works well unfortunately i wish it did i really love the idea <clears throat> of using alcohol-based uh blenders with it because again we know the water from the watercolor brush will damage the paper a little bit but unfortunately it looks like water is the only way to go with ink tents from what i can see here all right so that's what i want to share with you i hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching bye bye